Hey, this is Joe from Personas, and today I'm going to show you how to export your song in Studio One. So you've got your song finished, and you want to export some sort of a file so you can listen to it elsewhere or share it with a friend or text it to your mother. The way to do that is what we call Export Mixdown. So we've got all these channels here in our mix. We're going to essentially export what we hear as a single stereo audio file that we can then drag into our favorite audio player or email to our buddy. Now, there's a couple of things you need to know. Um, otherwise, you might make it might get a little bit awkward. So you'll notice here on this song, uh, if I zoom in at the beginning of the song, you'll notice that there's several seconds of silence at the beginning, right? If I were to start playback from here, That's a long gap, and typically, generally speaking, I don't want that there. I want the song to start when I listen to it. Uh, it's a common mistake, but there's an easy way to fix that. Same thing with the end of the song. If, when the song's over, we don't want there to be like three minutes of blank space at the end. Here's how you handle that. You'll need to use these things right here. You see this? It's like a little flag. Uh, it's a special type of marker. There's one called Start, and then there's one called and now, when you first open Studio One, if you've not used this before, you may not be able to see these. Don't worry, they're just hidden. Um, they're one of those things that are super useful, but you have to make them visible to be able to use them. So if you're looking at your session like this and you don't see these markers up here, don't fear. Just come up to this section here. If you click on that, you'll see these are a bunch of additional views that you can add. These are basically like horizontal rows that you can add to the top of your arranger. What we want to add is the marker track. This allows us to have the start and end markers, which those are there by default. And then as you can see, I've also added in, you know, there's a marker there for the chorus or for the verse, for the chorus, things like that. So then now that we have these start and end markers, we can drag them to where we want the song to start. So for this song, apparently I wanted it to start right here. So we could hear the count in. Um, if you didn't want the count in, then you could just start like right about there. Okay, that works well. And then the ending, really I just want to go until everything has faded out nicely and I've chosen to end right here. The ending, the little vertical line on the right hand side is where the end will be. Now that we have those, we can go through our export process and that part is really simple. So the first thing we do is come up to the menu and choose song. And we're looking for this option here, which is export, whoops, <laughs> I zoomed in too far, which is export mix down. Just keyboard shortcut here on a Mac is command E. I believe it's control E on the PC. When we do that, a window pops up and it gives us a couple of options. The first thing on the top left, we'll start on the left, then we'll go to the right. We want to name our song. So this song would be called, this is called last to know amazing mix or whatever you want to call it. And then under format, this is where we're choosing what, you can ignore this publish section here, we're choosing what format we want. Typically, for if you're just using this to send a copy to yourself to listen in the car or whatever, um, MP3 works well. So choose this little checkbox here, we can choose what formats we want to export. And we can export more than one. Wave and MP3 are the two that I use. For most things, if it's not a final master, um, I'm just going to use the MP3. It's important to make sure you set this bit rate here to something like the 320K setting. If you set it to 64, your mix might sound amazing inside of Studio One, but when you listen to that 64 kilobit per second MP3 file, it sounds terrible. So go with the higher 320K setting. Over here under Export Range, you'll see there's a couple of options here. This will remember whatever you used last, um, and I believe by default it's set up to export. This means what section of the song are we exporting? And for us, we want to use this second one here, which is between the song start and end marker. Now that I've selected that, the next time I open this window, that's just going to be selected. So it's a place you want to look quickly to make sure you've got the right one selected, because there's a couple of extra options. But typically, I'd say 98% of the time, I'm using this between start and end marker selection. And it has a handy thing here that tells us how long the song is. That is a short song. I never write songs that short. Loudness. This is more advanced. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and then down here, there's really nothing here you have to worry about either. And when you hit OK, Studio One proceeds to do this right here. It is rendering. This term, it has a lot of names. 
in the industry. So you might hear people say render a mix down, bounce a track, bounce to disk is a term that people use. Um, but it's all the same thing. It's basically creating a stereo file of your mix that you can then um, use for whatever you want to use it for. Now that put it into a folder and there it is. It popped up the folder here and now I can see this is the MP3 that I just created. Now I can do whatever I want to do with that. One thing I forgot to mention on this window, the first, the very first thing under location above the title of the song or the file name is where we want that to save. So this is literally just like where on my hard drive do I want this to go? Um, for me, a lot of times I'll put this in my Dropbox folder. Uh, I've got a folder inside my Dropbox folder called transfer bucket. That's where I put all the files I want to have access to from other machines or from my phone. I've got a shortcut for that on my phone so I can get to it quickly. That's probably where I would have meant to put this if I hadn't been talking and forgot. So uh, there you go. That is how you export a song in Studio One. Now, obviously, there's a lot more involved with getting it A, to sound good, B, to be as loud as you want it to be. But this is meant to be just if you've never exported anything, you want to get what you've got in here out of Studio One and into the world. That's how you do it. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.